Hair loss is one of the most common concerns I see in my dermatology practice, and when it's tied to stress, it can be even more frustrating. Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about stress-related hair loss, the science behind it, how our mental health can impact scalp health, and most importantly, what you can do about it. And I'm really excited to be partnering with Nioxin to share a effective scalp health routine and products that can really support you during this journey. So if that sounds good to you, I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So how does stress cause hair loss and impact hair growth? So when we're under stress, our body triggers a release in cortisol. Cortisol affects so many different things in our body, our bodily function, and really in a negative way because it increases inflammation that can affect, affect our skin, our hair, our hormone levels, our hormone balance, and yeah, affect our hair cycle. I think many of us have experienced it and I actually see it very commonly in clinic and practice. Patients coming in, like their skin, my acne is flaring, my eczema psoriasis is flaring, and it's due to stress. It's actually very well documented in literature that stress with the increase in cortisol actually can flare acne, psoriasis, and other inflammatory skin conditions. And medically for hair, not only does it impact our scalp health, there is even a medical term called telogen influvium. Essentially, it is stress-related hair loss. And so stress can impact our hair in so many different ways. And telogen fluvium is actually the second most common type of hair thinning that we see, second to androgenetic hair loss. So when I say stress, it's really this term that encompasses so many different things, all the way from physical to emotional to psychological to lots of different things. And you know, stress affects each one of us very differently. So my level of stress or the type of stress is it would be different for me than for you. But you know, it can encompass physical stress, emotional stress, psychologically. I mean, it can be as simple as you know, getting sick from the cold, the flu, um, COVID, to recent surgery, trauma, you know, weight loss. I mean, that's definitely stress on your body. You know, if you're restricting diet, um, you know, or say emotional stress, you know, going through medical school, <laughs> like for that example, that was a big one for me, postpartum, for sure. I experienced that or like a recent divorce or, you know, um, experiencing loss of a loved one. So all of that can be stress. And like I said, it impacts us differently. But what's happening here? You can basically think about your hair. Growing hair is actually one of the most metabolically demanding things in our body. It actually takes a lot of energy to growing hair. When our body is sensing stress, it basically is putting less energy into growing hair because really evolutionarily, um, hair is more of an accessory and it's not necessary for survival. So basically your body, just one of the first things is it diverts energy away from growing hair. So what you will see is a shift um, from growing hair into more kind of resting. And then uh, usually about three to four months later, that hair is shed in excessively, which is why usually with telogen fluvium or stress-related hair loss, usually that hair loss doesn't happen immediately, but often it is re uh, reflected about three to four months after that event. And actually very true postpartum, why most moms start to experience hair thinning about three to four months after delivery. And it can be so scary seeing clumps of hair coming out, you know, as you're running your hand through your hair or they're all over the bathroom floor in the shower when you're washing your hair. And for the majority, telogen fluvium or stress-related hair loss causes diffuse thinning. So really not like thinning in particular area or going bald in one particular area, but more so that the overall density volume of their hair is much less. So usually a lot of my patients will say my ponytail is like half as thick as before or the volume of my hair is so much less than before. So stress impacts our scalp health very similar to how it impacts our skin. Scalp skin is still skin, just slightly different in the amount of oil glands and the microbiome. But we know that, you know, the cortisol impacts hormones that has negative downstream effects infecting our hair cycle, reduced antigen phase, and also kind of changes the estrogen and antigen levels that can be really important for healthy hair and scalp health. And we know actually from studies that inflammation from cortisol really disrupts the skin barrier, our scalp barrier as well, alters the barrier. So it's not able to hold in water as readily. It's not going to be as healthy as before. And, you know, many of us with skin issues probably
probably have noticed our skin becoming more dry with inflammation, flaring of certain skin conditions. It disrupts the microbiome in our skin and, and as well as in our scalp that can keep our scalp and skin healthy. And it can trigger or flare up pre-existing scalp conditions commonly seborrheic dermatitis and psoriasis. So like I mentioned earlier, I've had so many patients coming to see me like either for the first time experiencing a new onset of psoriasis or sebderm, really bad dandruff, or saying that it's flaring up because of stress. So essentially, this means that your scalp is more sensitive, prone to irritation, and just more vulnerable. So not only is stress shifting your hair cycle, causing more hair to be shed, but it's also negatively impacting your scalp health. And the thing is, is that hair grows from within your scalp. So if your scalp is not healthy, it really doesn't matter what other things you're doing to stimulate growth. It's just number one, not able to grow. Even if you do grow hair, it's growing at a suboptimal rate. And the hair that grows out of it is actually very very unhealthy. Studies actually have shown that when your scalp is unhealthy, it can actually itself cause hair loss and or the hair that grows out of it is very dry, brittle, and prone to breakage. I mean, stress has even been shown to reduce growth factors in your dermal papilla within your hair follicles that really impacts healthy and fuller hair growth. So how can you support your scalp health during a stressful event so that way you can really maximize hair growth? Well, this is why I really love Nioxin and their line of products and why I've been recommending Nioxin for over 10 years now because I really love their focus on scalp health is really that core when it comes to growing stronger and fuller hair. Really their products are really geared towards to improving and supporting healthy hair during this journey. So what I absolutely love about Nioxin System Kits is that it really has everything you need in that box. I mean, the last thing you want, at least for me, what I'm losing hair and thinning is to feel stressed and overwhelmed about hair care products that to help on my hair growth journey and to figure out like, what do I need? Will this shampoo interact with this conditioner? You know, and all of that. And so the kits has everything that you need to support you during this journey to help help support healthier and fuller hair growth. And I love also the fact that the kits, there's different kits tailored for different hair types as well as the degree of thinning. But all kits are tailored for thinning hair and focuses on three core aspects, cleansing, optimizing, and treating the scalp. And these kits are clinically proven and specifically designed to address hair thinning caused by breakage, poor scalp condition and environmental damage. So as I mentioned, because your hair grows from within your scalp, when you focus on scalp health, as a foundation, it really encourages thicker and fuller hair. So by targeting that scalp directly, these systems not only reduce breakage, but also create an optimal scalp environment by number one, cleansing. So keeping your scalp clean is one of the most essential things that we can do. So the kits help to remove dirt, sebum and environmental residue that can clog hair follicles really helps to also optimize so really conditions and strengthens the hair to reduce breakage making your hair feel fuller and healthier and also treat so there are active ingredients in the kits that really nourishes and revitalizes the scalp by improving overall health and the condition of your scalp and hair and I absolutely love that Nioxin uses science-backed ingredients in their formula to support scalp and hair. So each of the kits are enriched with ingredients like niacinamide, peppermint oil, and caffeine to help nourish the root and stimulate hair follicles and strengthen the hair. And each kit, like I mentioned, is really tailored to different levels of thinning and hair types. Even those that have chemically treated, color-treated hair like myself, or even natural hair or textured hair. And so if you're really new to an accent, I really recommend starting with their system kits if you are experiencing hair thinning and find one that matches your specific hair needs. Use it consistently for best results. And so each kit comes with a shampoo, conditioner, and a treatment product that is designed for your thinning and your hair type. And to complement the system kits, I recommend Nioxin Hair Fault Defense Serum. This is a lightweight leave-in treatment that is designed to target hair fault and reduce breakage, especially common during stress-induced shedding. And Hair Fault Defense line contains a shampoo and a serum, and I am obsessed with this line. I use it myself postpartum, second time around, and found it to be really helpful. And really one of the key parts of why I 
shed significantly less second time around than first. And I actually still use hair fault defense line to this day, just not as aggressively now. But that shampoo, because shampoo is so much easier for me to incorporate into a you know hair care routine. The serum takes a little bit more time in the sense, you know, as a mom, busy mom of two, bedtime routines is challenging. Sometimes your personal one takes a hit, but the shampoo is something I can easily incorporate. And so I actually use the hair fault distant defense shampoo regularly my routine now one to two times a week for scalp health and to support healthy and fuller hair growth for me even though i'm not actively shedding but that is something that is really important for me and so the shampoo is something that I easily incorporate and when i do get the chance maybe once a week i'll put in that serum and the key benefits of the serum and the shampoo as well but specifically for the serum is it really helps to reduce hair fall caused by breakage during brushing and washing and really strengthens the hair from the root to the tip to improve resilience and improve hair density and better hair resistance it's lightweight absorbs really quickly so you don't have to worry about your hair feeling weighed down leaving any sort of residue on your scalp so i just love and i find the science behind the formulation in the hair fall defense line super fascinating so it includes niacinamide that we talked about helps to enforce the scalp bigger your and nourishes the follicles caffeine that improves microcirculation and, and to improve hair anchorage and then lord acid it's an antimicrobial um ingredient that helps to balance the scalp. And lastly, super fascinating, sandalure, which is really an innovative ingredient shown to activate the olfactory receptors in your hair follicles. So yeah, we actually have smell receptors in our hair follicles and sandalure really stimulates that to promote anchorage and reduce premature shedding. So this serum is really helpful for anyone experiencing increased in breakage during stressful periods and, and can be used as a daily maintenance product to keep scalp in balance. So even though it's really not truly a growth treatment product, but definitely plays a critical role in improving hair anchorage, minimizing breakage, and improving overall health and appearance of your hair over time. So we talked about scalp health, creating the optimal scalp environment products to use, but I also wanna to touch on how lifestyle habits is super important for managing stress and play a really important role in supporting your hair recovery journey. So scalp massage certainly helps to boost circulation, relieves tension, and so do it a few minutes a day if you have that time. You wanna just be gentle and not go really aggressive that could potentially lead to more hair breakage. Also sun protection. I think that's something that's overlooked or not thought about. So UV damage is one of the biggest kind of triggers for inflammation. So like I mentioned, inflammation is like the bad player for everything in our body from stress, but an external inflammation in the sense UV damage can really damage the scalp health um, and really can damage your hair follicles that can really worsen inflammation and contribute to hair loss. So definitely, especially as summer's approaching, when you're gonna be outside, that you know sunlight can really help with our mental health. So I really encourage people to be outside, but be smart about sun protection. So not only wearing sunscreen for our skin, but protecting our scalp. So whether that is applying a spray sunscreen to your scalp, powder, or a hat, just be smart about protecting your scalp, or just think about protecting your scalp from UV damage. And then lastly, I want to share some hair care tips because often hair breakage will also contribute to hair thinning. And sometimes that is the cause of hair thinning. So number one, you want to limit heat styling as much as you can. Use heat protectant before you heat treat he style your hair, try sleeping on a satin or silk pillowcase that can minimize friction on your hair. Applying a little bit of hair oil or serum to the ends before you sleep can definitely protect your hair and reduce hair breakage. Use bond repair treatments if you are like me that you know chem who chemically treat their hair frequently or he style your hair, um, that can help to strengthen your hair and also reduce the amount of breakage. And also just be more gentle on your hair as well. You know, when we put a lot of pressure on our hair in tight hairstyles over time, that can also be damaging on our hair follicles, cause more breakage, and something can also contribute to a different type of hair loss called traction hair loss. 
Lastly, stress management. I know it's so easy for me to come on and say, hey, watch your stress, but you know yourself, you know your body best, do what works well for you. But I find that for most people, getting adequate seven to eight hours of sleep is really important, eating a healthy, well-balanced diet. I love exercising, um, yoga, if that means that for you, going out for walks, hang out with friends, just do what works for you and helping to reduce that stress level. And just remember, you know, hair growth and reducing hair loss doesn't happen overnight. It's really about consistency, using the right products, managing overall health and your body health, and you will start to see improvements over time. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. Before I end, I just want to emphasize that stress-related hair loss is so common way more common than we think and you know it is something that it can be really frustrating and probably add more stress to the pre-existing stress that you that you are already experiencing but you're not alone it's often temporary and very much manageable and at the end of the day if you're not getting anywhere please see your dermatologist again shout out to nioxin for sp sponsoring today's video and providing innovative formulations and really which is why i recommend them to my patients on a regular basis who, for those who are experiencing hair thinning and i've linked all the products in the description box below so be sure to check that out if you have any questions please comment below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time